Be careful what you wish for is a very, very good terminology. I've learnt this for years myself. And therefore, you know, sometimes I don't want managers to go like Gary O'Neill, like Eddie Howe, um, when they are doing something good. Gary O'Neill kept us from relegation, of course. Remember, Gary O'Neill um, was the man who beat us on Saturday. Eddie Howe was the man who even made this all possible. And some people wanted him out. Now, there's a call, you know, led by one certain person, really, to be fair, for Neil Blake and Richard Hughes, two stalwarts who have done some great business for this little football club, to actually be sacked and relieved of their duties. Don't get me wrong, they've not got everything single thing right, because at the end of the day, they're human beings like me and you. However, one thing is to be said about Neil Blake and Richard Hughes, is they, they've managed this club very, very well. Richard Hughes has managed some great business in the past, buying Ben Pearson for literally peanuts, and I mean literally peanuts. A player who of course was instrumental in us getting back to the Premier League. You look at some of the other business that we've done. Alex Scott, of course, we saw him on Saturday. Everybody wanted him, but we got him. Well done, Richard Hughes and Neil Blake on that one. You look at some of the business as well that has been going out. So Nathan Ake, we wanted top dollar for him. We got top dollar for him. Thank you, Richard Hughes and Neil Blake. Also, you know, some of the fantastic business throughout the years as we did climb the leagues and then when we got into the Premier League, stabilised ourselves. You know, like I say, they don't get everything right, but the majority of the time they do. And let's be fair, we could have a lot worse directors of football. Would we rather Richard Hughes, a man who has got, you know, a good track record, proven track record, or somebody like West Bromwich Albion's Ron Gourlay, a man that everything he's touched seems to go to shit? Let's be fair, I think we know where that lies. We'd rather Richard Hughes all day long. And also, there's so many more people that we could say, you know, that they've really attributed. They've kept this squad together. The old guard needs to be cleared out, some people say. Why is our history? This is what this club stands for. Really, let us know what you think. But that is my honest opinion. We should be sticking by Neil Blake and Richard Hughes, two men who have helped this club go from leap to leap to leap to the st stature it is today. The only person that can make the decision on their futures, of course, is Mr. Bill Foley himself. And if Bill, Mr. Bill Foley is happy with what he's doing and what they're doing, then let him continue and let them continue their fantastic work. A lot that they do behind the scenes doesn't get recognised. I think it's time for people in our fan base to start appreciating what we have got and not wishing for what we would like because sometimes like at Christmas you don't always get what you want let us know what you think